Hello YouTubers, my name is Utkin Celespérance and in this tutorial video I'll be introducing to my new theory which is learning objective C. Did you ever wanted to create an awesome iOS app? Did you ever wanted to be the next Instagram, Angry Birds or Temporan? Well, before they all started creating those great apps and putting on the App Store, they all started by learning objective C. If yes, this is the right place for you. So let's get started. First, as the host of this series, I'll be introducing myself. Next, um, I'll be going over the reason why I'm making those videos. After that, um, we will define and give you some quick facts about Objective C. Also, is where it's coming from. We'll also be going over what we'll cover in this series and I'll be giving you a brief overview of what we'll be talking in the next video. Who am I? As you may have seen in the intro slide, my name is Eken Celespérance. I, I know it's kind of hard to pronounce but um, my last name is French for hope and I hope I'll be able I'll be the one changing your life by introducing you to this amazing new world um, I'm 17 years old just wanted to throw it out there um, I'm Asian um, I've been programming for three years and have experience in many languages and have been developing for many platforms which I'll be teaching most of them on my, on this channel so don't forget to subscribe uh, I'm also the CEO of Kintech which is my vision of sharing free computer related education and advice for those who are seeking knowledge I'm a kind of it's kind of part of my contribution to the involvement of technology um, Kindes is my um, development firm we mostly develop for mobile platform and Kin Music is my music production studio next we're gonna go over the reason why I'm making those videos by the way um, the table of content is interactive that's when you can also click on any part of the video and you'll be directed there so if you want to go more forward or go backwards you'll be able to do so and the cable of content will appear after each segment of the video one of the main reason is because I felt that people needed another way to learn objective C and some of my friends came up to me and needed me to teach them how to program so I want to help people too uh, especially people from my country who speak Creole um, because when I went online and looked up for Creole programming tutorial I didn't find even a single Creole tutorial on programming so I decided to help them by um, creating programming tutorial and put the subtitle in Creole and we'll also try to make everything as fun as possible a little bit of homework will be I know it's not fun but a little bit of homework will be assigned um, at the end of each video to prepare you for the next video and also a little five question quiz to see what you've learned I set up an email that you'll find in the description below um, where you'll be able to send me your homework if you want and get feedback for the quizzes you'll find a link also in the description of each video where you'll be able to see what you've learned there will also be some challenges um, to challenge yourself and you'll see you'll be able to send it to me via email to get some feedback we'll try to take the easy way and not the hard way we'll try to detail all of the topic for better understanding well I've been talking about Objective-C 
So, what is Objective-C? Objective-C is an object-oriented programming language that most developers call OOP. It is also a superset of C in the style of small talk 80. In other words, let's say Objective-C is a pizza. C will be the cross and small talk will be the topping. We, um, they use C as the base if you want. If you could, if you want, you can could have eat it, but it wouldn't be the same. So they extended the flavor by adding the topping, which is small top. Let's say pepperoni, for example. Um, but don't forget the pizza is mostly the crust. It's no, it's not the perfect example, but I think it passes my point. As I say in the intro. Um, Objective-C is mainly used in for iOS and Mac OS development. By the way, um, I have a little secret for you. Um, this series is actually a preparation for my next series, which will be on iOS programming. Um, uh, Objective-C is case sensitive. That means when you write, you have to be careful about uppercase and lower cases and class name all start with capital letters and method and instant variable will have to start with lowercase um, letters i don't expect you to know those terms but um, we'll cover them more in depth in further videos where does objective c come from um, it was actually initially created around 1983 by Brad Cox and Tom Love and Brad and Tom were both introduced to Smalltalk at ITT in 1981. Brad became interested in object-oriented programming and thought it will be valuable to build powerful developer environment for system developers. So Brad modified a C compiler and by 1983 and came up with a object oriented extension called object oriented in C um, or OOP, OOPC for short. While working on for Slumberger research, um, Tom acquired a commercial copy of Smalltalk 80. With direct access to Smalltalk, Tom added more of to the OOPC, making the final product that we know today as Objective-C. To their company Stepstone, they released the first version of um, Objective-C in 1981. In 1988, Steve Jobs acquired a copy of Objective-C license from Stepstone for its company called Next. He used it to create the, their operating system called Next Step. Next Step was built on top of the Mac kernel, or should I say, the BSD Unix kernel. Um, Objective-C made the interface design way much easier for them. Next basically wrote the primary implementation of Objective-C. So, um, in 1995, Next, get full right of Objective-C from Stepstone. But before that, um, Next and another company called Sun Microsystem created um, in 1993 the OpenStep ABI. OpenStep is an implementation like Next Step, um, but they wanted to make the op they wanted to make it a uh, operation operating system independent set of libraries which mean removing all dependency from the Mac kernel um, or I mean from BSD Unix and make um, low level data into classes. Next is taking over by Apple in 1996 and job returned to Apple. Since Next Step um, was working wonderfully they decided to implement it into their Mac OS family of operating systems and so from 
next step they developed a new API which they called Coco to work with Objective-C so from next step originally built on top of the BSD kernel um, they built Mac OS X in 2007 they released the second version of Objective-C with some minor modification such as a modern garble garbage collection syntax enhancement runtime performance improvement and a 64 bit support um, by the way they also modify with the Mac OS X to create iOS which you might have seen on most iOS Apple device mobile device like the iPhone iPad and the API for the iOS they call it the Cocoa Coco Touch it's like Coco that we talked about earlier um, for the Mac OS X. Now that we know what is Objective-C and where it is coming from, we can give you a brief overview of what will be going over in this series. This is not in chronological order, this is just a brief overview. So first, um, I'll be giving teaching you the, basi the basic of um, programming like um, variables and their type if and else statement functional loops etc I'll basically teach you everything you need to learn about programming and how it's work this is the step where you'll be moving from computer user to computer programmer um, most of the programs in this session will be written in C will not be covering C in detail but I'll teach you what you need to know to smoothly transit from C to Objective-C. We'll also be introducing you to object-oriented programming, which involve learn um, what are classes of objects, method, etc. Um, I understand that you might not understand those terms for now, but I assure you at the end of the Siri, you'll understand. Oh, you'll understand everything. I mean, almost everything you need to know about programming in Objective C. After having all the basic um, down, we'll start learning Objective C syntax. We'll um, be fa we'll familiarize ourselves with the language and get to know it better. We'll learn to get our way around. Xcode, with which is the integrated development environment or for sh or IDE for short, that we'll be using in this series. This series is actually a preparation for my upcoming series on iOS programming, or an, or and maybe later my Mac OS X programming series. Either way, if you in this series right now, that means you actually was planning to create an iPhone, or iP a Mac, or Mac apps. This series will also include some extra video um, with some tips and tricks that you might find useful in this amazing adventure. Will we you'll in this amazing adventure you started there will be some bonus video that I think you'll find pretty awesome also so next um, in the next video we'll be going over the requirement and We'll set up the tool needed in this series. So, uh, as I promised, um, homework and quiz time! Yay! <laughs> um, as homework, you will want to go over this video again and click on some of the term you might not understand and read the article relate, um, related to them. For further understanding, it might be a video or an article that'll depend on different case. And for example, you might um, not understand what is object-oriented programming. 
you can go back in this video and click on on where you saw it last and this will take you to an article and or a video f that will explain it um, more in depth if you want to go ahead of the crowd if um, for the quiz you'll find the link in the description below and it's just a five questions quiz um, that will evaluate your what you've learned throughout this video and after taking the quiz I'll email you your scores and for this video the discussion question will be how did Objective-C get his name and if you could rename it how would you rename it you may answer this question in the comment below um, alright enough talking now it's time to get to work and don't forget to like comment subscribe or should I make LCS or should I say LCS thank you